Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections and today I want to share with you guys a product by a company called Mount Genie and no it's not a place to go visit and go hiking on it's a actual wall mount for um, a Google Mini uh, they make many products in their lineup there's something for everyone if you're looking for a very slick way to mount your Amazon products your voice control products or your Google products uh, they have something for anybody really uh, whether it be to hang it on the wall in front of an outlet or off to the side of the outlet so you still you can be able, able to use the outlet or in my case I love installing things that are in wall I've done in wall stereo system in my bedroom um, I've done the in wall iPad downstairs the flush mounted or the on wall thermostat which is too bad they don't make an in wall one that would be a great idea uh, and now this device this is again a mounted in wall flush mount for the Google Mini I'm going to show it to you right now so what I've done is I've actually mounted my Google Mini centrally located, dead center in my office. As you can see, this is my office. And right in the center there is my Mount Genie for iPad Mini. And basically all it is is a white plastic ring. Uh, they give you a template, super easy to use. I'll show you the template here. Let me put that down for a second there. Because, I mean, really it's not much to look at. I mean, you know, the, the Google, you know, the Google uh, Mini is just... So just a dot really, you know, it's not a dot and a speaker grill. So this is the uh, template they give you. Uh, this is where your wires go when you, when you actually pop this in the wall. And you basically put that on there, trace it, use this right here. This is, you can get really cheap. This is a sheetrock saw. You just cut out the temp, cut out the hole, and you take the plastic piece and you basically just shove it right in there. And there's a couple, four locking tabs on the actual uh, mount that lock it in place securely. Don't cut the hole too big. Naturally, they make that when you cut it, the template is actually designed to be a little bit smaller than you're going to need. So if you're going to cut it, don't make sure you cut on the line. And then once you go to mount it, you might have to kind of sand out or kind of carve out a little bit more. But make sure you don't take out too much. You pop it in there, and this thing basically snaps the uh, Google Mini right in. You run your wires. In my case, I ran them through the ceiling. They come with an extension cable. I believe it's about five or six feet. Uh, so there's definitely more room if you're going to do this on the in wall or whatnot, it's really nice that they give you that. In my case, I ran an extension cord to an existing uh, outlet in the attic, plugged it all together, and now I have voice control, sensory located. And what I like about this is this is going to be great in a future video where I put three of these upstairs, one in the in the office here that I already have, one in the bedroom, and one in the hallway. And basically, when I want to play some you know ambient you know elevator music in the background, just have a little bit of sound go through the house without turning on the stereo systems or whatnot. Um, I can do that and they're going to fill every room. So the whole upstairs will have some sound coming to it. And it's absolutely fantastic. Um, great product, easy to use, and the price point on these is fantastic. I've seen lots of mounts that are pretty expensive. Uh, under 20 bucks for pretty much all their products on their website. This I believe is like 15 So check them out. This is a very slick way to add these awesome smart voice control home automation devices uh, to your home and not just have it sitting on an end table. It's a very custom way of doing it and it's very, very unique. So uh, I hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm working on getting a link and a discount code with the company. So if you see the video and you want to make a purchase, you can maybe get a little bit of a discount, maybe free shipping or, or maybe a percentage off and work with them to find out uh, what they want to offer you guys. And if you guys have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to ask. I hope you like the product. Uh, definitely check out their on-wall mounts if this is something you could use. Maybe if you have an apartment and you can't do that. I have another device right here I'll be reviewing at a later date. Uh, this one here is uh, super simple. Comes with a cord. This is for the Alexa. I'll show you this real quick here. Plastic mount. You pop the, the Amazon Alexa dot right in there. This basically hangs right off the power supply like so. You plug it into your outlet and you get this little tiny short cord. You plug it in and bam, this is a great way to put this out of the way, near an outlet or in an outlet without having the cord hanging off or putting it on an end table. Uh, great for the kitchen, so you don't want to have it on the countertop. Get it out of the way. Bathroom, you know, because a lot of bathrooms have your outlets higher. Uh, you know, you don't want to have this next to a sink with the cable dangling. This is a great and safe way of mounting one of these on the wall. So, all right, guys, well, stay tuned for more videos. Let me Again, let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here to help you guys. And uh, remember, subscribe to the channel. Click like if you like the video. And uh, remember to click the bell if you do subscribe to be notified anytime I upload a new video. I got 10,300 subscribers right now. And you guys, when I upload a video, not all 10,000 of you check it out. So that means you're probably not being notified uh, that I upload a new video. So uh, it's great to uh, blow money on this cool stuff and uh, share it with you guys. So thank you very much and have a great day.